Cage Minds, joined by AJ Rob. Got a hometown main event back in Colorado Springs. No Mercy 67. Last poster I saw had you fighting Derek Pettis, but I've heard we've had a change in opponents, right? Yes, sir. Fighting Benji Gomez now. Guy from California, 8 and 12. Um, it should be fun. Boxer, brawler. His nickname is The Brawler, so it'll be fun. You know, I love The Brawl, too. I don't know if it's possible, but you're able to still have the same stylistic opponent, and if possible, a guy with even more experience than Derek. I didn't think yeah. you'd be able to get in that situation. So how do um, you prepare now? Uh, you know, my camp's been the same. You know, I was I was prepared for, um, for for whatever came my way. I knew Derek wasn't going to be easy. He had he has more wins than me. Uh, I knew Benji's not going to be easy. He has more wins than me. Um, but uh, I think I'm just on a whole different level compared to both those guys. Those guys are just stepping stones to the next step in my career. So I mean, I'm ready. I'm prepared for however the fight. If it goes three rounds, I'll, I'll grind it out three rounds. If, it, if, you know, if I can get a knockout, if I get a submission, whatever, I'm going for the finish the whole time. But if it goes three rounds, I'm prepared for that too. So I'm prepared. This is like one of my best camps I've ever had. Spent the last six weeks out here in Albuquerque just grinding, grinding, grinding. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm prepared. Talk to me about the excitement, the pro main event in your hometown. I know you've had some big fights as an amateur there, but does it feel different now as a pro? Um, yeah, definitely. Definitely uh, being, being the main event, you know, in, in my hometown, you know, born and raised 24 years in Colorado Springs, finally getting the chance to, you know, you know, show out for my people, show out for everyone who supported me, you know, people who want to come to fights for a very long time, but they couldn't because it was out of town, or a lot of my, my last three pro fights were all on Friday nights for LFA, so then nobody was able to come to that, this one will be on a Saturday night, everyone will be able to come out, old coaches, old teachers, old friends, family, it's, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a, basically a family reunion, it's going to be so much fun, the energy in the building is going to be ridiculous, I'm, I'm super excited for that. No, we've seen previous camps, you split half the time, went back home to the 719 fight team and be down here with JW for this camp it looks like you've totally focused in down here in Albuquerque what was the mindset behind the preparation um, I think just last year you know me you know moving down here I didn't really you know know anybody but you know I'm more of a you know I got takes me a little bit to you know trust people and you know to, to cling to people and, and you know to, to feel like they're a part of my team so it just took me a little bit longer to to get used to all the Jackson Wink guys, get all my coaches out here on the same page. But now, you know, after being out here for a year and a half, got everybody on the same page, you know, coaches believing in me, uh, my teammates believing in me, my teammates helped me out with extra things, extra drilling, you know, get to, you know, drill Pat Mix all the time. He's 11 0 Bellator, Andrew Tennyson, uh, Aiden Warren Pro, um, just a bunch of, you know, guys that are in, in the top level of their sport that I get to just train with and they get to help me all the time compared to last year when I didn't really, you know, I wasn't really as close with them as I am now. So I think that's what makes me just stay down here the whole time. That mentality of training, you know, with John Dotson and, and, and Diego Brandau, training with all those guys just puts my confidence. You know, when I fight a guy like Benji Gomez, no disrespect, or, or Derek Perez, I'm like, you, you know, you're not training with the same people I'm training with. I'm, I'm training my ass off, you know, with, with dogs, with animals, with savages to become a savage. So that's why I just stayed out here the whole time. I think when I fought Hunter Zero last year, I went back three weeks early and I wasn't training with nobody, you know, me, my coach, maybe a couple sideline guys, but no beast, no, no John Dotsons, no Patchy Mixes, none of that. So, you know, my, my, my mindset, you know, just, you know, I kind of was, I'm the star in Colorado Springs. I'm the star in the fight scene in Colorado Springs. I'm not, you know, necessarily, you know, I feel like I don't have to work as hard, I guess. I'm out here, I got to work as hard. You know, I, I got to get my picture on that wall. I got to get my picture up there. I got to work my ass off out here. So that's why I stayed out here now for the whole time. Talk about confidence with those looks in training, the confidence that it gives you. Um, it just, you know, just boosts my confidence, you know, to, to the max to, to, to be on that same level, you know, as, as John Dodson, as Diego Brandau, to have them speak to you after you train with them, like, bro, you, you know, you're doing really good, you're really strong, you're powerful, you know, keep it up, keep training, you're going to go far, you know, to hear little things like that just makes me, you know, you know, okay, I'm, I'm doing the right things, I'm in the right place, I'm with the right people, um, you know, I'm in, I'm in a room full of savages, there's no, you know, there's no way to, you know, to get worse out here unless you just don't train, and that's not me, you know, I've come to the gym every day, I'm here all day, and I'm training, uh, with savages and that just you know makes it just it's just I just love it. I get home and you know you, you fight you fight people you know and you're like you're not you're not, you're not a UFC caliber level fighter so you know I shouldn't be I shouldn't be worried about you but I'm prepared I'm prepared for whatever you know you never know you get clipped in a fight and, you know something doesn't go your way but I'm prepared for whatever so I love it. In what areas what ways do you feel your game has improved? My ground game tremendously. 
um, my grappling, my grappling is, you know, it's through the roof now, my transitions, especially rolling around with Pat, rolling around with Andrew. Um, just always, always finding the toughest rounds in the room makes my grappling through the roof and my striking. I really got my striking going with my coach Alex. So Muay Thai, my Muay Thai is looking real nice. You know, I even got people ask me, what do, do I come back? Do I come from a Muay Thai background? I, you know, I just been training Muay Thai for the last four or five years. Um, so you know, this just being out here in this camp and being consistent is, is the most important thing. You know, I'm, I'm very consistent in my training, and it's just, uh, just been jumping my game just by staying consistent. I, I, I guess before. After my pro debut when I was in Colorado, I wasn't as consistent or as hungry as I was when I first, you know, when I was an amateur and I was a top amateur. I wasn't, you know, I was hungry, hungry, hungry. Then I went 1-0 pro, you know, felt like, I, I don't know, I just, I didn't, I didn't have that, that same edge to, to, to go, to, you know, to go after the toughest practices, to go at the toughest things. And now I'm back in that mindset. I want to, I want to go against the toughest people, you know, all the time. Amateur of the year in Colorado, title belts with Sparta, other promotions two losses as a professional. This path hasn't worked out the way that you expected, but does it add a different kind of confidence seeing where those two guys are now, the two losses you have against guys that automatically got into the UFC following? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, and I think it's just all, you know, it's all part of the process. You know, I, I, I needed those losses to, to build me up and to become a better fighter. You know, that, you know I'm ready to go on a run now. Um, fought in January, won that fight gonna fight next weekend win that fight and I'm gonna go on a run and hopefully I'll be on the you know the contender series just like uh, Azure was or you know get a shot you know somebody needs a short notice fight you know for a big promotion I'll be able to jump right in um, yeah as, you know just seeing that you know cuz you know that Batista fight I was there you know I, I think I just I, I, I act like an amateur the night before and that's what you know cost me that fight it wasn't you know necessarily the guy was better than me and destroying me or nothing I was beating him on the feet taking him down um, and, you know, just end up getting caught in the Zero fight. Like I said, I went home three weeks earlier in my fight and lost that mindset of, of working with Savage. If I stay out, if I take that fight this year and I stay out here the whole camp, I think that fight can go either way. You know, it can go down to a decision. That fight can go either way. So, I mean, I, I know I'm in the right place. I know, I know where you know I'll be a year from now. Um, I'll be right there with them. So, you know, we'll see each other again. How do you put that exclamation point on going home and showing everybody that you are the superstar of Colorado Springs? I guess you just gotta go on there and do what I do, you know. Show people, show people, you know, what I work so hard for. You know, get a knockout, knock this dude out, choke him out, finish him. I want, I want to finish. So, you know, I'm gonna go for the finish and start, from start to finish. Um, I'm looking for that finish. I gotta, you know, main event, hometown. You know, crowd's gonna be the energy in that place is gonna be ridiculous. Gonna have me lifted off my feet, and uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show out. I'm gonna show out. Everyone's gonna be like, okay, yeah, that guy's the real deal because I am the real deal, and. Uh, my time's coming. What has AJ Rob motivated now? You're in the right mindset. What has you motivated? Um, winning championships, world championships, getting into the UFC, getting the Bell Tour, getting paid good money for this. You know, I've, I've spent a lot of time, a lot of sacrifices. No nine to five. I work. You know, I train all day, every day. I have a part time job. You know, maybe I make two hundred dollars a weekend or something like that. Just you know, just keep my head above water. My phone bill paid. Food in my stomach. You know, I'm not making good money to where I can go buy my own house or go buy, you know, fun things and go do this. No, nah, I need I need that money. I need I'm doing this to make that type of money, you know, so I can go have fun in life, so I can go have a good time, so I can go on vacation if I want to. So it's, you know, you know, that's what's keeping me motivated, you know. Chasing chasing that check, chasing them championships. That's that's it.